Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. All right, everyone. So today we are going to be doing a cash stuffing of my bills, sinking funds, personal spending, and some savings. And I could not find my bank bag at all. So what I have here is a fanned out cash of what we're going to be cash stuffing. I have no idea where my little where my little bank bag is. So I didn't know what to do with the money. I was just going to stick it on the desk. I thought I would just fan it out and I think it looks really pretty. But let's close it all up and why don't we count up the money that we have. This is for week one of September. So for week one of September, we are cash stuffing 1, 2, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 720, 40, 60, 80. 8, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 1,020, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, because I grabbed two, 90, uh, 200, so that should be $1,200 right there, and then 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, which is correct. We do have $1,280 to cash stuff today. So let me just set this money up. Alrighty, so here it all is. Let me scooch it over. But we also do need to add in 300 of prop money. So one, two, three hundred dollars is getting added here as prop money because I am doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm not switching over to digital cash stuffing completely, but there is one bill that is getting transferred and paid digitally now. Um, if you guys are curious about what has changed, I did post a budget with me for September video that went over all of the changes in my budget and my bills and um, just explained that a little bit more into detail. So if you're interested, definitely look back a few videos and catch that budget with me. Um, but why don't we start out with... I think we should just start out with Bills Binder and just get it right out of the way. So here is my Bills Binder. Let me just push that up a little bit. Um, so first thing is first, rent. Rent has increased because in the winter months, we do pay more than in the summer months. And although we are still in September, we are collecting all month long through September for October's bills on October 1st. So because of that, October's rent will be 600 and we will be cash stuffing 150 each week. So we do, so we will do 150. So 150 will be going into rent this week. And there is nothing in these envelopes because it is the first week of the month. All right, perfect. So 150 in rent and that one is all set. So the next envelope is Kia and this is my car payment and my car payment is now going to be combined with my wife's vehicle payment for her business vehicle. We did have to purchase another vehicle. Unfortunately, our old used vehicle was no longer working. It is completely dead. We just put a lot of money into it, which is sad that it did not even last us another year. Um, but it is what it is. And this is why we will be digitally paying these bills um, because I just don't want to pull out all that money each week when I can just simply transfer it over into the other bank account where the bill gets paid from. So for the vehicles, we are now doing $300 a week and we have rounded up significantly because we want to try to attack these vehicle loans and pay them down as soon as possible. So this rounded up amount includes the principal payments, the additional principal payments that we will be making each month. And so we'll be cash stuffing one to $300, which is the transfer that I made today over to the account to pay for the cars. So that is all set. We've got our prop money in there. Alrighty, and so the next one is AT&T. AT&T has stayed the same and this will be getting $40. So we'll do $20, $40 into AT&T this week. 
Alrighty, and these are nice crispy bills today. She gave me some good ones. All right, and the next one is progressive. And of course we did add on a new vehicle onto our policy and remove the older vehicle. And so this has increased and I'm gonna do $30 but I'm not exactly sure as it gets closer to when the six month policy renews, I will get a better figure and we might have to adjust from there. But I'm just throwing extra money at this um, in anticipation for that. So with the 20, $30 added in, Progressive now has 20, 40, 60, 80, $110. And this is an envelope that I do collect for six months for that bill and that one is all set. So the next one is storage, and storage will be getting $30. So $20, $30, 20 30 going into storage. It looks like this one's already open, and that one is all set. All right, so then the next one is subscription. So subscriptions is getting $35, so 20 30 and five. So we've got $20, $35 going into subscriptions, which is great. And that one is all set. Alrighty, and then the next one is credit cards. And this is for the minimum payment on the last credit card that I have. And that is $30. So we will be doing $30 this week into credit cards. And this one is open as well, it looks like, from my unstuffing video and that one is now all set. So then the next one is debt, and this right here on top is just a tracker and a manifestation bill. Um, I will do the tracker at the end of the month when we pull the money to make the payment on the credit card, but our snowball is 75 a week, and so we are going to do 75. So we've got 50, $75 going into debt. So that is for our debt snowball, and that is all set. Perfect. So then the next one is my wife's envelope and this is a new bill as well. So this is for my wife to get braces. She is getting braces this month and so we will be doing $65 a week to be able to pay towards her braces monthly. And so we are doing 50, 70, oh, just kidding. Didn't I say we're doing 60? Five, yes. <laughs> so we're doing 50, 65. Let me double check. Yes, 65. So 50, 65 dollars is what's going into my wife's envelope to pay for her braces. Um, and yeah, she's really excited to get them on and start correcting um, her teeth, which is exciting. And this is a tracker that I created. It is available in my Etsy shop. If any of you have dental work or braces that you are getting, you can get this. Um, tracker for it. I will be filling this out at the end of the month when I pull the money for that. So we can just leave this right down in there for now. And that envelope is all set. And so let's do, let's come back to savings and do the savings at the very end, since that is how I have it on my um, budget sheet. So that is it for bills right now. And what we can do is just move over into these little personal spending envelopes. I did decide that I'm going back to these personal spending envelopes instead of the A7, just because I tend to transfer the money from there into my wallet anyways. And these are less categories. And I feel like if I have less categories, I end up like stuffing less and spending less throughout the week, which means we have more money to save if I'm spending less. So that is the idea and I'm gonna see how that works. So I'm gonna do $20 in my wife's envelope and she will be happy with that. And there is her 20 and then I will do $20 into my personal spending envelope as well. And I will try to save mine, but we do have a trip planned this weekend. So we're actually going to Narragansett, Rhode Island, and we are going there with friends, and it's going to be really fun. So I might not save my money. We might not have much rollover this week, but that's okay. We're going to have an amazing weekend, and I'm really, really excited about that. 
All right, so we're gonna do $20 into gas. And obviously $20 is not enough to get us to Rhode Island, but this is just the weekly amount I stuff for my personal vehicle. And um, any extra gas that we will need will be coming out of the travel envelope from sinking funds. So we will deal with the travel sinking funds at the end because I'm going to need to unstuff and pull some money from there. So gas is all set. Groceries is getting its $100 per usual, 50, 100. And I like to do that in 50s. Um, yeah, I just like to do it in 50s because sometimes I try to only spend the 50 or like hang on to the other 50 um, and save as much money as I can. But obviously the money is there if we need it. So the next envelope we are doing is fun and we are definitely stuffing this envelope this week because we are planning to leave or actually leaving today so fun is going to be getting thirty dollars today so we'll do twenty thirty dollars into fun and of course we are planning on pulling some money from the travel envelope so we will obviously have more than thirty dollars to spend but that is what's getting stuffed into that little envelope this week and then I will be doing $5 into miscellaneous. And this usually just ends up being rollover for me. Or if we end up going over on groceries or anything like that, I just pull from this miscellaneous. So $5 is going in there. And that is all set. So these mini envelopes are all set. And I'm going to set them aside. And they are going to go right into my wallet. I'll actually show you guys my wallet. So these just fit right down in. And I keep this little... Um, expense tracker. So this is one of my little mini expense trackers. These are available for digital download in my Etsy shop. And if I need to use a debit card or credit card at all, I just write it on there. And that way I know how much to unstuff from the sinking funds binder. That stays in there with a pen. And then these just drop right down in like that. And it's pretty convenient and handy. And so that is that. The next thing I'm gonna do is my sinking funds. So let's go ahead and grab this sinking funds binder out and we will take a look at what sinking funds are getting stuffed this week. So the first one is coffee. And so coffee is definitely getting stuffed and we are going to do, it still has a 20 in there. We're gonna put another 20 into coffee. So we'll have 20, $40 in coffee. And next time I order coffee, I'm definitely gonna order the pumpkin spice pods from um, Nespresso, cause they just came out with their pumpkin spice. So I'm really excited about that. And this keeps us from spending out at Starbucks at Dunkin's and keeps us drinking more coffee at home, which is nice. All right, so then the next one is household. And household is going to get $50 today. And so we do need to purchase some toiletries and uh, I think the dog and cat need food. So household's getting 50. So we've got 50, $60 in there right now. And then car maintenance is not getting stuffed. Honestly, probably won't need to be stuffed as heavily or as often because we don't have that older car anymore, but I do still need maintenance and things on my Kia. So we will continue to stuff this, but just not today. Birthday is getting skipped as well. And then travel is right here and travel is going to be getting a 50. So let's go ahead and give travel its 50. So travel envelope now has 50, 70, 90, hold on a second let me just wrap my brain around the fact that i'm counting 20s with a 50 in it okay i'm ready 50 70 90 110 30 50 70 90 210 to 20 to 25 30 35 40 45 50. so i think i have 250 dollars here so let me count it one more time. 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210, 220, 225, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yes. So $250 is what I have in travel right now. And so I am going to take this money. Yes, because we don't have any other sinking funds that we're stuffing. So travel is there. My envelope's getting skipped. My son's envelope's getting skipped. Medical and pets is not getting stuffed today. And I'm going to unstuff the $250 from travel because we are planning on leaving today. So we will have $250 in order to spend this weekend. And what I've decided to do is use this little A7 wallet as like a envelope that I stuff 
stuff when I travel and I can take it with me. So right off the bat, we're gonna take the $50 and we're gonna put that into gas because I mean, I'm definitely gonna need, so that's 50 and then I got the 20, so that's 70. We'll see if that works. If not, I'll pull from something else. So I definitely want to stuff 50 into gas. And then for groceries, I'm gonna wanna buy some groceries while I'm there because we will be at an Airbnb and so they do have a full kitchen so I'm sure we will eat out but we will also probably want to get some snacks and some things and chip in on meals to be able to cook a meal with our friends while we're there so let's do 20 40 60 dollars into groceries and pop that right in here Alrighty, and so then the next one is household. I don't think we need any household items, but I'm gonna put like, maybe not a 20, but why don't we put like $10 in here? Let's do a 10 because five, $10. If I need to run to the store and get something like, I forget a toothbrush. Speaking of that, I need to pack my toothbrush, you know, or something like that, cough drops um, or anything like that. I've got a little bit of money to run to the store and purchase something like that. So 10 bucks into household for the weekend. Starbucks, now it's going to be a necessity. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else would consider Starbucks a necessity, but on a trip, driving to Rhode Island and driving back, absolutely so i'm doing forty dollars into our coffee um you know like starbucks duncan if we want a breakfast sandwich on the road if we need a you know a little breakfast before we go or something so i'm putting forty dollars into starbucks for this weekend and then takeout is definite so let's do 20 30 dollars into takeout so we're gonna do 20 30 here and I'm sure that one night we will go out to eat and this will probably not be enough for both me and my wife for takeout, um, but it will be good if I combine it with date night, which is probably where the rest of this is gonna go. Um, I'm gonna do 20, 40, uh 45 50 dollars so we'll do 50 into date night we've got 30 in takeout so we've got plenty of money to be able to do a takeout night date night night with our friends so 20 40 45 50 dollars is going into date night which is awesome and like i said if one of these categories necessarily like isn't enough i'll just pull from like i can combine these two or whatever i need to do i'm basically just gonna bring this whole thing with me and use it how i need it i'm not going to stuff car maintenance this is a sinking fund and i don't need it for when i'm traveling but miscellaneous is going to get the last ten dollars so let's fold this up so we'll put $10 into miscellaneous. And again, this could be tip money. This could be if I forget something, this could be just I went over a little bit on takeout or Starbucks and I needed a little extra money. So that is this travel wallet, I'm calling it, all stuffed and ready for our trip. So that is awesome. And if any of this money is actually left over, when I get back, I will unstuff it. And instead of it just going towards my mini savings challenges, I will put it back in the travel envelope in the sinking funds or keep it in this wallet for the next time we travel because we will be going to Massachusetts later in the month. We're planning on going to Mass to visit a friend and we'll be going to a fair. Um, it's actually called the Big E. I don't know if any of you guys go to the Big E, but it's a huge fair in Massachusetts. Um, and we're really excited to go. We go every year with our friend. So because that will be happening later in the month as well, any extra money that doesn't get spent this weekend will go towards that, but we will see. So now we have some money left here and we kind of need to figure out what we're going to do with it. And I believe it is going to all going to savings. So let's count it up and see if I did everything correct, if my math is mathing, and if we have... $510. So we have 150, 200, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 50, 70, 90, 410. For, so we have 430, 50. So that's 450. 
for 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. And that makes 500. And then we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we do. So we do have $510. So let me just set this back up really quickly. And of course, I have been using my little mini binder savings challenge, and I've been trying to do that every week with my cash stuffing. So let's get that out and take a look at this first. So this is my save 525, and this is my mini binder that is available on my Etsy shop. If you guys like it, it is linked in the description below. All right, so on here, we need to do something. And I'm thinking since we have this $100 bill right here, we should just knock out this 100. I mean, it's gonna need to get done at some point. And I don't know that I will always have a nice crisp $100 bill ready to go. So we're gonna put $100 into this little mini binder today and get us just one step closer to saving 525. To be honest, I really like these mini binders. Like I do the little savings challenges and stuff, but these mini binders, I don't know why, I just feel like such good motivation to fill them up as fast as possible. And I don't know, it just it seems like it goes pretty quickly for me. So, so I just wanted to make sure that was all dry before I went to the back here to look for my $100 envelope. And that is right there in the very back. So let's try fold this bill up nicely. Oh, kind of, not really. I kind of cut his face off a little bit. Let me try to back it up, get get his ear in the, in the picture here. <laughs> All right, there, there he is, looking nice. All right, and we'll slide it right into, oops, nope, that was the wrong one. It's this 100 here. So we're gonna slide it right into the back here. And there it is, our $100 envelope complete. We've got a 60 done and we've got a 20 done. So this little mini binder is filling up nicely and we will be to 525 in no time. So let me set this one aside. This one is all set. And the rest of this money, which is $410, is just, oh, wrong binder. <laughs> That's not where the savings envelope is. It is in the back. Oh, 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 okay, okay of this uh, bills binder. So right at the back here, I've got my saving em savings envelope and I will just pop all of this money, this 500, nope, this $410 is going right into the savings envelope. 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 30, 50, 70, 90, 310, 30, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 87, 98, 99, 400, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So we got $410 going into savings. And this is just where I kind of hold the money until I um I'm ready to pull it and play savings challenges. I'm thinking about doing like a wrapping up my summer savings challenges slash starting all of my fall savings challenges video. So this money will probably go towards that. But for now, it will sit in the back of this bills binder safe and sound until we are ready to play some savings challenges with it. So that is it. We have cash stuffed bills, sinking funds, savings, and yeah, we did a lot today. I think this was a really good start to September and I'm really excited to see how this month goes. Also super excited about the trips that I have coming up and just enjoying our lives and enjoying our time with our family and friends. So that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not subscribed already, definitely please think about subscribing. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.